famous Irish bands. When you think of Ireland, do you hear the distant sound of bagpipes or Celtic music? Or do you see medieval castles, Guinness, or whiskey? While Ireland is known for many things, some of the country's finest attributes are its popular musicians. Join me in meeting some of the famous Irish bands. Welcome to All About Ireland series. This is the Lifehack Lion, the channel that gives you amazing life hacks and interesting facts. Make sure to watch this video till the end to meet Ireland's most famous band. Number 10. The Script it is an Irish rock band founded by Dublin-born best friends Danny O'Donoghue and Mark Sheehan in 2001. The duo worked as producers in Los Angeles for several years before returning to Dublin, recruiting drummer Glenn Power and forming the script. They saw their debut single, We Cry, receive heavy airplay in both Ireland and Britain and immediately went to the top of the UK album charts. Their subsequent two albums have been just as popular. In 2009, the band was also nominated for a Choice Music Prize for Irish Album of the Year, as well as opening for such legendary music acts like Paul McCartney and U2. The script has also held its sold-out concerts to 50,000 people in Dublin's Aviva Stadium. The band has won three Meteor Ireland Music Awards, two World Music Awards, and they have been nominated for two Brit Awards. Number 9. Snow Patrol Originally from Northern Ireland, co-founders Gary Lightbody and Mark McClelland began composing music under several band names. Eventually, they adopted the Snow Patrol and enlisted Johnny Quinn to play drums in 1997. The following year, Snow Patrol signed with Jeepster Records, a small record label based in London, and released its debut effort songs for Polar Bears. In 2003, the band finally broke into the mainstream with their 2003 major label debut, Final Straw. A collection of earnest tunes aligned with the sounds of contemporaries like Coldplay, Keane, and Travis. This accomplishment was followed by a multi-platinum success of 2006's Eyes Open, which featured the international hit single, Chasing Cars, and continued with a pair of UK Top 10 Platinum efforts, 100 Million Suns in 2008 and Fallen Empires in 2011. After an extended six-year hiatus, Snow Patrol returned with Wildness in 2018. Number 8. Horse Lips Formed in the early 70s, this band has taken Celtic rock to a level popular and recognized worldwide. Celtic rock is a miscegenation of the traditional music of Ireland, Scotland, Wales, and Brittany. Traditional ballads, jigs, and reels have forever been revitalized by horse lips with their addition of electric rock instrumentation to the more traditional fiddle and bordering. The Quintet spent three years gigging constantly in Dublin, tightening and honing their sound to a fine point, and formed their own record company, Oats. In 1973, the band produced and released their debut album, Happy to Meet, Sorry to Part, a mixture of traditional Irish folk instruments and hard art rock sound. This led to a distribution deal with RCA and tours of England and continental Europe. Although the horse slips disbanded in 1980, it released half a dozen superb albums along the way, becoming Ireland's most acclaimed folk rock and progressive band. Number 7. The Course Combining pop rock with traditional Irish themes and keeping it all in the family, Dundalk's siblings, Andrea, Sharon, Caroline, and Jim Corr found international fame in the 1990s, going on to sell 40 million albums. The quartet enjoyed regional popularity in Ireland until the American ambassador to the country invited the band to perform at the 1994 World Cup in Boston. The court subsequently expanded their popularity by appearing at the Olympic Games in Atlanta and earning support slot on Celine Dion's 1996 tour. These two gigs helped them pave the way for their well-received debut record, Forgiven, Not Forgotten. It became internationally popular but nowhere more so than in their homeland, where the LP's four times platinum status made it one of the most popular debuts by an Irish group. 
The Breathless Singing Group released their sixth studio album in 2015 after a 10-year break, following up with a seventh album in 2017. Number 6. The Pogues It is one of the most radical bands of the mid-80s. The Pogues demonstrated that the spirit of punk could live in traditional Irish folk music. What makes this band unique is that it is undeniably political. Not only were many of their songs explicitly in favor of working-class liberalism, but the wild, careening sound of their punk-injected fold was implicitly radical. The Pogues also had a wickedly warped sense of humor, which was abundantly clear on their biggest hit, the fractured Christmas carol, Fairy Tale of New York. The band's frontman Shane McGowan is one of Ireland's most prolific and talented songwriters. McGowan and the Pogues have taken that extraordinary Irish ability for deep meaning and philosophical musing, putting their thoughts to music and making the country proud. Number 5. Clannan This band bridged the gap between traditional Celtic music and pop, resulting in an entrancing, enchanting form of pop that managed to fuse the disparate elements. Such fusions have earned Clannan an international cult of fans. Often being more popular and successful abroad than at home in Ireland, the Donegal band Clannan has been hugely instrumental in showcasing not only Irish music, but also the Irish language to the world. Their haunting melodies, Harry's Game and Robin the Hooded Man, are only two of the singles that helped bring the Irish band international acclaim. Clannad achieved eight UK Top 10 albums and won an Ivor Novello Award, as well as a British Academy Award for Best Soundtrack. Number 4. Thin Lizzy Formed in the late 60s by Irish singer-bassist Bill Lynott, Lizzy is one of the first bands to incorporate two lead guitarists in the lineup. As the band's creative force, Lynott was a more insightful and intelligent writer preferring slice-of-life working-class dramas of love and hate and virtually all of the Irish literary tradition. Regularly included in the Hall of Fame lists around the world, the band is considered to be one of the great hard rock bands of the 1970s and their most popular songs are still often played on the airwaves. However, after multiple changes in lineups and more than one member with drug problems, the band's success faltered. In 1999, Thin Lizzy reunited and produced the live album One Night Only, which was released in the summer of 2000. Number 3. The Cranberries Hailing from County Limerick, alternative rock group The Cranberries rose to worldwide fame in the 1990s and went on to sell over 40 million records, including 14 million in the United States. Fronted by the iconic voice of lead singer Dolores Royden, who tragically passed away in 2018. The Cranberries channeled a wide range of emotions, from the longing and melancholy of unrequited love to the anger and pain of the troubles in Northern Ireland. Linger was their first big hit, but Dreams was, in fact, the first single they released back in 1992. The protest song Zombie was written about the 1993 IRA bombing in Warrington, England, and in memory of two young victims, Jonathan Ball and Tim Perry. A hallmark of 90s pop rock, the Cranberries are one of the rare Irish bands to make an auspicious run on US music charts with singles like Zombie, Linger, and Ode to My Family. Number 2. The Dubliners With their lively Irish folk songs, traditional street ballads, and instrumentals, the band garnered international success and was hugely popular for over 50 years. Like so many other popular Irish folk musicians, the Dubliners often performed controversial political songs and drew criticism from folk purists. Ireland's national broadcaster RTE even placed an unofficial ban on their music from 1967 to 1971. However, during that time, the band's popularity began to spread across mainland Europe and they appeared on The Ed Sullivan Show in the US. The group's success remained steady right through the 1970s and a number of collaborations with the Pogues in 1987 saw them enter the UK singles chart on two occasions. The Dubliners is without question the quietest band, but what the band lack in edge, 
they make up in durability. Having just celebrated their 50th anniversary, the Dubliners are entrenched as luminaries in European folk music. And lastly, Ireland's most popular band, U2. Formed way back in 1976, U2 is the only group in music history to have number one albums four decades in a row, from the 1980s to 2010s. The band has released 14 studio albums and is one of the world's best-selling music artists, having sold an estimated 150 to 170 million records worldwide. U2 also has its fair share of statements about politics and religion, and one of their most overtly political songs is Sunday Bloody Sunday, describing the horror during the troubles in Northern Ireland. Unlike many of their contemporaries, U2 was able to sustain their popularity in the 90s by reinventing themselves as a postmodern, self-consciously ironic, dance-inflicted pop rock act. Other popular songs by the group include With or Without You, One Beautiful Day, and Pride. Which band is your favorite? Do you have any requests for our next video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you find this video interesting, we'd love you to support us for more life hacks and interesting facts.